Hello everyone, welcome to a first episode of Mesa Barzan. So uh, this is all based on the same engine that uh, the uh, Ravenloft games are on. I never actually played uh, Ravenloft, but the uh, interface is very, very clunky. Very clunky, to be sure. So it will be interesting to see how, uh, how this goes. But uh, I did, uh, I'm sure you guys saw my notes about how I couldn't get the sound working correctly for both the uh, voices and the music. I found a way to do it. It's very uh, weird on how, uh, how the sound installation works. Um, but yeah, I was able to get the uh, rolling sound along with the sound blaster uh, voices and sound effects. So we yeah, are best of both worlds here, and uh, yeah. So uh, we will be uh, we'll start here and uh, watch the intro, and then uh, probably uh, do a quick reading from the manual on uh, what the story is about because the intro really won't tell you much. <laughs> really won't tell you much of anything. Um, so we'll read a little blurb on the manual about it, and then we will create our party. So uh, that's kind of uh, what we're going to be doing for the first part of this uh, journey. Yeah, welcome to Stream the Johannes and everyone else who is uh, looking. So let's go and uh, just want to hide that and get the game started here. So we'll watch the intro here. Until we get to the uh, prayer creation, that is definitely very interesting. The beast is dead. In the village, the grateful townsfolk gather. A celebration is planned. The heroes are invited to the inn for a night of song and good company. Later that evening,
the intro. So uh, we went to some town and uh, the drow decided to attack it. And the whole place is uh, burning up. So uh, before we get into uh, generating the characters, we're going to read a little bit, read a little couple passages from the manual here. Not sure how uh, creators going to show up on uh, stream. Tried to do the best I could. Yeah, typical drow, typical drow. So, uh, always causing, causing issues. So, welcome to the Underdark. I have stuck this fall to Dark Elf Drive to serve their Spider Queen. The world below is the Underdark, a blinding darkness to behold. If you dare upon the Drow Elves' lair, their dark hearts and swords will fly. Like spiders in their webs, they wait. For you, alas, are simply bait. There is a world beneath the world that humans know, a vast lawless land where they were under the realm that see the sun. This a perilous land of dark caverns, crevices and labyrinths. The realm below, the vast and mysterious underdark. No surface dweller has seen all its depths and corners. Beasts that know that no surface dweller yet knows of lurk in its shadowy depths. Surviving explorers say the known dangers are bad enough. To the unwary traveller in the Underdark, a city may seem a refuge from the creeping doom in the darkness. It is, after all, bustling with life, with food, tools, and perhaps aid, or perhaps not. Measure Barazan is a place of evil within its infinite night. A city carved in spired stone castles, the smooth, undaunted, unbroken expanses are lit with the soft, tinted flows of permanent fairy fires. There live the dark elves, drow as they name themselves, to plot against each other, to praise Loloth, the Spider Queen. Do you dare enter the realm? If so, danger and excitement beyond your wildest nightmares or yours as your characters delve into the murky underdark. Riches and glory await as well as horrible creatures in danger. You know your party can face them, and perhaps even beat them in the light of day. But how would they fire in the darkness? Alright. And then we have a message from Zizit on the recent danger from the Underdark. You will never believe the words indeed. I may never find the opportunity to deliver them. Nevertheless, I commit them to punishment in an effort to ease the troubled turnings of my own spirit. The raid upon the village was not my doing, or perhaps it was, but not in the way you think. I let no drow warriors out of the underdog to burn your homes and take your people hostage. Oh no, I was not their leader, nor was I among them. But cause rests with me, I am certain. Place the blame upon my shoulders, if you will, where the drow may have come and search for, for me as much as for any other gain. Yes, they search for me. And not finding me, they turned their frustrations upon you. Compassion has no place in the city of my birth. Major Berazan lives in the belief that anything is acceptable if we can get away with it. These large bond drow society together. Repeated so often to, and demonstrated so well that they ring true in the mind of all my kind. All that is except me, I do not know how I survive these falsehoods. Nor how I overcame the rage and deceit my family sought to plant within me. Yet I survived, I did. And in doing so, I have become a traitor to the Dark Elves, and a traitor to Loloth, the Spider Queen. Such treachery is unforgivable. I was lucky to have escaped the Underdark, to have found my way to a new life in the world of light. Still, the memories of my evil homeland, located so far beneath the earth, haunt me even now. And other drow remember too. Thus they have come for vengeance, come to find Drizzt the merciful, Drizzt the weak, Drizzt the fool. Your village merely got in the way. Now I must descend once again into a world I thought to have left behind. Innocents shall not suffer because of me. Those who took your villagers prisoner will feel the sting of my skittimars. Finally, I tell you this, if it is within my power to do so, I shall return your friends and family members to you unarmed. Zizit. Alright, so I imagine Zizit might become an NPC in this game. 
So uh, that is all we're gonna read from this. Uh, might pull it up uh, later on if I need to uh, figure out spells or uh, experience levels. Alright, so now it's time for the interesting part of this uh, thing. Uh, let's create our characters here. Walk, hear me. Our enemies hide among the shadows. They move in ways we cannot understand. My queen, have we displeased you? I am here. Matron Malice has set fate in motion. Her warriors seek out Drift, Duerden's traitorous son. In this, she does more than she knows. A fateful hour approaches. Drift shall return, and with him intruders from the world above. These surface... My queen, I hear and I obey. Now, come to me, my servant. Approach and begin the search. Reveal for my eyes these surface dwellers. One by one, reveal the sex, race, and class of these unwelcome visitors. In this way, we might best prepare. Reveal the sex of the first character. All right, so here we go. Uh, we have male. So we'll be able to create uh, two characters here. Alright, uh, let's go with male here. Make known the race of the first character. Uh, so this interface is very clunky here, so um... I am gonna go with a dwarf here. become a fighter clerk slash clerk. Uh, let's go with fighter. Ah, so you can uh So we'll go we're gonna go with fighter slash clerk here. Uh, I'm not sure what kind of NPC you're gonna find. Reveal the alignment of the first character. Uh be good. Uh what? It keeps switching around. Make known the face of the first character. Alright. This is this indeed. This uh, voice acting and the UI for this is uh, UI for this is bad. Um, kind of reminds me of like a marketing UI. It's uh, not very efficient, but very pretty. So um, yes, this guy's like a dwarf. So let's pick him. Oh, right. Uh... Can we, like, boost up the 
dachte. Okay, nice. Das ist die da. Oh, mach's da, Tim. Das ist auch ein fucking wie ein neuer Helmut. Probably starting at like level what five or six in this game. And two of are not very charismatic, so. <clears throat> so we got that. Reveal the name of the first character. Alright, the first name, the first, we'll call him, uh, we're gonna call him Flint. Flint is a good dwarf name. Keep or delete the first character. So, is it white or is it yellow? Or is this. Oh no. I'm assuming if you put your mouse cursor over keep, it's gonna actually keep the character. If that doesn't keep the character, I want to do this all over again, right? Yeah. Reveal the sex of the second character. Oh, thank God. All oh, right. Oh, those colors. Oh. So we'll go with the female character here. So this will be the second character that we can create. And this will be it. Make known the race of the second character. Oh, uh, let's go with the elf. So I think I'm thinking of going with the wizard. So we have a fighter slash cleric and a wizard. So, uh, so we can fill in the blank with everything else. This might be a bad, bad, bad idea, but we'll see. We'll see when the game starts. Show the class of the second character. So this is gonna be a pure mage. Alignment of the second character. Alright, so... Hey, Tekken J! No, we did not kill Drizzt yet. We're still in the character creation phase. And I don't think we kill Drizzt. I think he will actually join our party at some point. Yeah, this, uh, that's, um... Yeah, that's good. Make known the face of the second character. At least the music's like halfway decent in this. Um, so we have a female wizard. None of these portraits look like a wizard. We can go with this one, I guess. Maybe, yeah, maybe this one. A lot of work has been put into this uh, character creation. Oh man. Yep, yep. Resurrect of the dead. Alright, 
30 hit points. Alright. Reveal the name of the second character. Oh, let's see. What do we call her? Um, hmm. Oh, just call her Mary. Why not? Keep or delete the second character. This could be a very, very bad idea. So let's keep it. And so the mold is set. Let the adventure begin. Oh, yes. Why has the music stopped? Had the flutes faded off into the night and the dangers of a joyous voices with them? It is not obviously worth a long night celebration. We should demand an explanation from the innkeeper. All right, here we are. Got aid and just serious wounds. Slow. Ring of protection. You should probably put this on. Oh, so you got two ring slots here. And braces of protection. Better on the class than uh, Warrior does, which is kind of crazy. Um, so, we are level 5. So, we only need 5,000 XP for another level. class you get five levels of each so it's not based on uh, XP it's based on level that's kind of nice actually kind of nice because uh, level five cleric is pretty uh, pretty good pretty decent Okay, so uh, I want to make it save. I know if you click here, and it also does start with a uh, with a quick start party. So if you don't want to do character creation, you can use the uh, default party. So yeah, let's save. So we can learn some spells. So we got protection from evil. So this game actually has a lot of uh, a lot of additional spells that were not in uh, previous uh, Dungeons and Dragons games. Okay, so we going to go with uh, we have prayer. We have prayer. So we don't need bless. Um, but bless and prayer do not stack. So let's go with um, one, two, three. Let's just get through a light. Draw dexterity, uh, no. I guess. Oh, we got five. The slow poison, maybe draw a thing. Oh, that's it. Okay. 
die and learn level three. Venom immunity sounds like something we might need to down the road. Cure disease. Dispel magic. Um. So what we're gonna need for this? So maybe just uh, remove paralysis. And oh, we'll get better immunity, I guess. Oh, it's all got three. Oh, two, ma two max. Okay. And memorize. Fireball. We have fireball. Wonder how thinking cloud works in this game. Uh, light spell, are you probably gonna need that? I'm not sure if the light spell is gonna come in handy in this game at all. Um, armor might be good for me. It's got another magic missile. Do we have to rest, I would assume? No, we shouldn't. We should rest before the fire is put out. The villagers with the stores are in danger. The building must be saved. We have to put out a fire. Oh yes, this map has uh, it's I've seen this UI before. Mm. So you can put notes on it. It's kinda nice. Options, uh my music sound, distance in bikes, all this stuff's on. So I'm not sure what this means exactly. Not exactly sure what that does. So we got spells. And uh, elves are able to detect secrets. Secret doors and stuff. So I'm assuming reading uh, there's a gonna be a thing to be able to read the text or uh, signs or something. Sounds all cool here. So I guess the next step is to talk to the innkeeper here. I have no idea how this game works, so yes, it can be a learning experience. Innkeeper, the timbers of this place grow still. The wrath of the barbers wait silent at the roof of a forest before a storm. I watch your customers slip away one by one. Where have they gone? Ah, my friend. You met the danger well today. The townsfolk owe you much, as do I. It is some strange stillness has drawn them from us this evening. I cannot account for it, but I feel it as keenly as they do. Yes, the beast is dead, but I fear another evil is about the land. Perhaps it's best if you too find a locked door and safe bed for the night. Listen! Fire, they are shouting! And a fire it must be! Quickly, there are buckets outside the door filled with water for the kitchen. Take them and end that unwelcome light. Your day's work is not yet done. But remember, return before this night is over, for I have not yet given you my reward. Alrighty. Uh, what else? Anything else? Stay not a moment longer. I cannot give you your reward while the town yet suffers the evils of this night. At the very least, you must find Baldazar, the captain of the guard. Run now to the guardhouse as fast as you can. Your prize is safely guarded. Oh, uh, so how do you put the fire out? Is the question. click on anything here. I'm assuming it'll tell you if you can pick something up. Oh, 
tables here. Let's check the other map. Now there's all kinds of items all over the place. Uh, oh, that's just list of furniture. Alright, so we can't take anything from this room. Hello there, Retro Gaming Junction! Welcome to the stream! So, okay, so there's nothing here that can be taken, I assume. So, let's enter the outside the first door here. Yeah, this is my first time, first game playing in this dungeon, so. Oh, there we go, so. Picked up something. A little body cup. Welcome. Alright, so. Uh, I did pick up a bucket, but it's not showing up in my inventory. Okay. Got all of these buckets. Am I actually picking this up or am I just going backwards here? Ah, there you go. There was a well to the east near the center of town. We will find empty buckets near it, and we can fill them at the well. Alright, so we have to right click in order to pick up an item. We cannot left click like you normally do. Okay. Alright, we do have a bucket of water. I have to wait. Uh, buckets of water are pretty heavy. But apparently not that heavy in this game. Alright. So, still got a map out. In. Okay, uh, escape. There we go. All right. I'm not sure how many of these, uh, places are usable here. All right, uh, Cool. Let's go north a bit here. Let's 
So we cannot enter this building. This is the well. Okay. Uh, so I'm assuming that the uh, the whatever oranges dot or things that we can pick up. combat My uh, wizard, my mages. There you go. All right, we were uh, surrounded by all on all sides by these dudes. That's what I thought too, but I think we're outside of Mezzo right now. So I got some armor that I can't use. Oh, hey, it might come in handy at some point. So I can't go in any of these buildings. No. Set the map. Okay, uh, let's go north, I guess. Uh, so there's an item there. Oh, I got a spear. Probably be two handed weapon, so right now I think we need the shields. Alright, there is nothing there. Okay. So let's go to the well and get some water. 
Let's check out my app. Oh, there's so many items here. Oh, let's go south, because we need to get to the well here. We'll go get those items later. Hey there, Jimmy Colorado! Yes. New game? Yeah, this uses the Ravenloft engine. Indeed it does. It has all the clunky interface things that the Ravenloft game have. I actually never played it, but I've seen quite a few people play the uh, Ravenloft games. Oh, it's, a, it's like, uh, I think there's two buckets there, maybe. Or even more buckets. A lot of buckets, it looks like, maybe. Ah, oh, there's the well. Holy, the storehouse is on fire! It lies to the southeast! All the villagers with the food stores are within! So the fire, hey? Well, here a bucket is not to end the threat. What would they have? What would they? Uh, what would they do without us? We'll have it out quickly. Oh my God. Ah, uh, you mean there are no other villagers in this city who can uh, pick up buckets and uh, help put out a fire? Uh. Yeah, let's uh, take these buckets. Alright. There's probably more around the bed. It looks like down there is where the fire is at. I don't know how many buckets of water we need, so we'll grab all of them. Alright, go back over here. There's the well is over here. We got some more buckets. Music's great though. Music's great in this game. Alright, let's uh, get that. We got all the buckets. Uh, how to wait? Oh, they're empty right now. We will probably go up as soon as we fill them up. Fill the buckets with water. Ah, uh, oh no! I just threw it all over the. All right, so now we're gonna work out the user interface issues here. On how the hell do we fill this up? Let's 
you gonna be fooled about? You can't bring the well out for anything. Huh. Oh, no idea how to put water in these buckets. side or something. Check a map, make sure we go in the right direction. I think this is the storehouse right there. doing it I might be screwing myself up here there's still a fire here Fill me some water. Give me water. I want my water, please. Oh, I 
right, this interface is pretty bad. Uh, maybe I have to stick it in an inventory slot. Need you have to figure it out, but yeah, still cumbersome to uh, do this here. All right. Two more maybe, two more waters. Yeah, it looks like we just need two more water. Oh, 
But we'll get four just in case. Alright, let's go and put out this fire here. alive or dead, we will be at his post. To the guard house! Alright. Yay! Do we still need the buckets for anything? I don't know. We'll hold on to them until the end of this quest line here. But we definitely want to equip our weapons because there are enemies here. Uh, we should make a save. Alright, first quest done. Uh, I'm out of here. There we go. So now I'm gonna find the guard house, which I have no idea where it's at. I guess now we can go around and uh, pick up, pick up some more uh, goodies or whatever here. Yeah, I do need to work on uh, creating more SFX. So there's all kinds of stuff here. We still have to visit this side. Oh, right. So you got a uh, couple items here. One there, one there, and then we'll work our way around here. Hey there, Gently AI! Yes, new game here tonight. Ah, yes, a setting start, putting out fires. I can now become an official fireman. Shield. You have to use the map to find the items because they are very, very, very hard to see. Uh, just looking around. So we're gonna get this item and then head over here. All right. Yeah, this is Mesobarian. So this is the game uses the Ravenloft engine. Oh, another bucket. No, I don't need no more freaking buckets. Uh, we'll pick, them any pick it up anyway. So I know of a clear the area, so we're gonna go to the west. East, west. Here you go west. Oh, we got Dago. Okay, what else we got here? We'll check that corner up there. Oh, let's go behind. This is 
building here. Scroll of light. So we'll throw that in there. Uh, might come in handy. So let's go up north. I believe this is this really looks like it's gonna be a good house. It's right next to the entrance to the city. Here's the stop there. Remember, the innkeeper has, has some babble he wants to get, but it's best not to leave without seeing what boon he might supply. I guess we can take those items, so... Um... Ah, here he is. Let's talk to him. The fire, is that under control? How terrible, Jarrell Raiders. Driss has walked among us for so long I had forgotten the evil of the rest. The fire is out! Our friend Bandadar now has brought these dark intruders! And if Dizzit has arranged this evil night, let us end this day about Icewind Dale forever! Yes, this was a Jarrell raid, but I cannot believe Drist has done us harm. No, not that one. Not him. Bandadar, our friend, where are your men? Where are the villagers? This sounds like a struggle are fading quickly. Many of our friends have been taken away to be hostages or slaves. The draw moved quickly. My men are scattered, confused. It's terrible. Terrible! That well, should work fine out of the box. Um, should I have any trouble? The uh, UI for creating characters is a little... Um, a little busy, I always put it. It's very interesting. Uh, so we might actually be able to bring him with us. Oh, faith, good bad also. The trial atrocity shall not go unchallenged. Do you company enough? I promise you this. My God will smile upon your courage. Aye, there's no use defending the guardhouse now. I will join you. But be not hasty, my friend. There are many good weapons within. We should arm ourselves, then pursue the drow. Alright, we got our first character here. Uh, Baladasa? Oh, it's 
see what it be. Level four fighter. Pretty cool. It's hey, better than having nobody, I guess. Uh, basically, you want to keep my maid out of the back line, uh, front line. So, is there a way to swap positions? I don't know how you can actually swap position until my marriage isn't in the front. Uh, that will not be useful. I uh, won't have any use in the back. Uh, maybe it's in the options. Characters here. Out right there, body cups. I hope you enjoy your uh, dinner. All right. Um, and the manual for this game is actually pretty extensive. Extensive. No, let's check the table of contents. Um, I don't know if there's any way to. Uh, swap the position of your characters. We should be okay right now, but um, it's gonna come to a point where you don't want your marriage in the front line. I do not see anything in here. Let's do a search. Uh, Swapping objects and inventory. Uh, I don't see anything here about swapping uh, characters, so this is gonna suck. This indeed is gonna suck. Not be able to swap characters at all. All right, let's uh, go pick up these items here.
the mace. I don't know if we can sell stuff in this game or not. We'll pick everything up for now. Uh, battle axe. Uh, two to five. One to eight. Um, Bottle Ox is one to eight. This is two to five. Oh, we do that. Two to seven. Uh, let's do that. Got some leather armor. No, he's already wearing leather armor. I still have padded to be better than leather. No, he's a full fighter, right? Yeah. So we got some more stuff here. Got a spear. We got the uh, bone knife. So what the hell is that? Just gonna get it. So we got a quiver for arrows. So that is nothing, and I'm assuming that's nothing too. Alright, we got everything here. Let's just check out these idol items here and then we'll head back to the inn. Now let's go here. And go straight north. More water and more buckets. Go back to the left. Well, I'll give you enough buckets. Buckets, so we got two items here, and I think that's it. So these will be the last two. We got another spear. south and uh, we'll go back to the inn. Supposedly he has some special item of uh, significance for us. So we'll go back here and gotta save it first. Save it here. Oh right, let's see what the innkeeper had to say for himself. Ah, oh, as Baladasso said, a terrible, horrible night. We are returned to see what you wish to bestow, bestow 
After all, a friend script can have a magical magic all on its own. There, upon the table, I've secured for you a helmet, one endowed with a magic which may aid in your protection. When I saw it on my travels earlier this year, I thought to buy it at a great price and sell it for one greater still. But after all you have done for us, I hope only that it keeps you safe. Yay, magical helmet. Well, we'll never forget the act of generosity. When next, when next, when next we return, the celebration must take on a different course. Then you must watch as we buy food and drink enough for a hundred revelers and two nights of unending song. Goodbye, old friend, until we meet again. All right. Oh, nice. Negative one armor class. So we can see the helmet here. So this has no armor value at all. Oh, right, we're gonna drop all these buckets because we don't need these buckets. So let's go and drop. Bucket throwing contest here. We can't throw it in the water. Oh, you can. Look at that. You can actually throw water. space. No idea if you can sell equipment in this game. Uh, if not, if you don't see anybody, we're just going to drop everything eventually. Oh, I guess we're going to leave this tutorial town here. And head to a great adventure. Assuming the real game begins here. One of the raiders has made a company run through hell. He must be wounded. It will be easy to follow. Yes, after him to the south. Alright, so best of is to go after this guy to the south. So, uh, probably won't give him a spear, because he's going to be in the back row. Well. Oh, I took the map. Oh, there's stuff up to the north. So we got the wood outside the city here. Big area here, holy crap. So let's keep going north. Bugbears. 
So we don't have to throw the spear. We don't actually. Uh... Oh, we got some more bugbears. Bears and alarm are gonna be a problem here. Um, yeah, I need to look at the map. So we need to go over this way. Stones are important. Don't know if these stones are important, but we'll pick them up. Pick up a sock. Alright, so this is where inventory management gets. Can't get a little uh, hairy here. Just carry everything. Type of deal. Oh, we got some dudes here. There's no, uh, that there is no front and back row. Oh, 
Alright, so we're gonna give him a long sword here, I guess. Probably better. Well, I've been one shot and everything with the spear, though. One of the hits. satisfying in this game, I must say. I must say. Trust no one more than yourself. They left me behind to die. Quickly then, finish me. Oh, what? Listen, blood enemy of all the two elves, I will not slay a wounded creature. Not the wolf, not the fox, whose legs lie broken in a trap, and not you. But we will hold you here above ground forever if you do not speak. The blood, the outcast dress. Here's why we come, that freaking on trial must be returned to us. Hear me, his death will appease enough the Spider Queen. Yes, all towns burn if he is not found. We shall make all surface dwellers slaves. Ah, uh, you guys are just evil. I knew Drizzt was involved in this. Perhaps Yemalin can shed some light on his whereabouts as well. As for you, Dark Elf, sink home and give fair warning. We are coming. Oh, yes. We are coming to the rescue of those who took, a, took away this night. Be gone! Touch. Uh, I wonder how you scribe scrolls in this scrubble. Yep. 
figure that out. I don't think I have that spell yet. And mage four shields that we have. Oh, very cool. Head down south here. School of Comprehend Languages. So, that's not a school to describe. There's somebody up here. Let's talk to him. A fellow archer, but please, if you find a use for your bow this day, let it not be to lose an arrow in our direction. Have you seen the raiders? My nose brings me out. It smells a mixture of fools and evil. The evil is the evil of the Dark Elves, and the fools, well... Are you aware that you stand where the Dark Elves stood but a short time ago? My bow has sent more than a single shaft into the heart of evil this day. One of the drow sought to capture me, daring to think he might ride me into battle. Ha! Let anyone dare put a hand upon my back, and he will lose more than the offending fingers. Yeah! Alright. My type of guy. My nose brings me out. It smells a mixture of fools and evil. The evil is the evil of the Dark Elves, and the fools... Well... Are you aware that you stand where the Dark Elves stood but a short time ago? My bow has sent more than a single shaft into the heart of evil this day. One of the drow sought to capture me, daring to think he might ride me into battle. Ha! Let anyone dare put a hand upon my back, and he will lose more than the offending fingers. Alright, so let's go with second option here. Though I am low to speak the name or even a single drow, have you come upon the dark elf named Dizzit who haunt these lands? Few have not heard the name. Rist. It sounds almost of fire or of some eruption from the earth. 
I know him. As you say, he haunts these parts. But if he comes and goes quietly, it is because he knows how fiercely the hatred of the drow burns in the world of light. Whether Drist himself is good or bad makes little difference. Being drow, who would not draw their swords against him? Exactly. How are we to know both you and he were involved in the way? No, I don't need that option. Um, I guess we could bring him along, but uh, carrying missile weapons is uh, bleh. Kinda gonna be sucky, so. Your heart seems true, but we must be on our way. Will you be about to be need your help? I do not recall offering my help, however much you appear to need it. Yet I will remain in this area for a while. Should you need a good archer to watch your backs, I might consent to walk the trail with you, at least until I am certain you can defend yourself. But know this, more than a single caravan has fallen prey to mysterious forces in the east. If your search for the drow leads you that way, beware the danger. Oh, right. we will do that. Get out of here, we are done. There you go. Something here. What do we got here? Ah, oh, it's just a log. So where is that item? Ah, it's up north. Got lock picks. Oh, we got some dudes. Okay. Oh, where to go next? So we have this building up here. We should probably stop here. That's a quest item because uh, 
take out of my inventory. Uh, I checked the map, make sure we got everything. It looks that way. Or maybe I took it in this bag. So how do you actually look in the bag? Oh yes, now I forgot these inventory issues here. Bag though. Oh god, this game. There we go. I want to see if we can actually read that. So you have ointment and ah, we have crossbow bolts in this bag. Uh, did we pick up a uh, quiver? Yeah, we did. So we have to drop my here first before we can take them in here. From the blood of the god Coil and Lar uh, Lariatigan, all elves were a single people. In, as in every society, some worked for good and others for evil. These were all to lusted for power, and those who sought to live in harmony with one another. In time, the Spider Queen Loloth used her teaching to gather those, together all those who embraced hatred, evil, and distrust. They were called Drow. Lolas led them against the, the innocent brothers in a war which raged for decades and tore the old cities apart. In the end, the god Koloi and Latharian did not allow the evil ones to win. With the aid of his companions, he banished Lolas into the depths of the earth. On the, of their own free will, the drow followed and forever took upon themselves the darkness of the shadows. Whoops. Alright, so we got that. So you learned a little bit about how the drow were formed. Oh, uh, we should probably rest here, though. So let's do that. Seven thousand one hundred twenty-four. 
251, so I'm married for love up soon. So we can cast light. Swap over in the area. I wanted to check one thing out here. There's this blue thing here. What is that supposed to mean? Oh, that's a teleporter. Should get uh, new spells, I thought. Level six mage. Um. Okay. Yeah, five. Yeah, thirty-five hit points.
Oh, we got a key ring. Oh, that's nice. Um, I guess we automatically double up. Oh, we didn't get any. Oh, we got one more uh, fireball here. Yeah, we got one more fireball. One more fireball. Uh, I haven't used any fireballs yet, so yeah, let's get out of here. Alright, so we are in Icewind Dale. So, Plains Area 1. Cool. Moving right along here. So let's head down south. Get this item down here, I guess. We got some more enemies here. Uh oh. <laughs> Guys are dead. Oh, uh, we should probably make a save. We haven't saved in a while. Oh, uh, cool. Let's uh, check our map out here. Oops. Uh, go up north. North here. Yeah, what do we got here? Oh, I got an enemy. We <laughs> got flame blade. Yeah, almost inventory is almost full here. We just gotta make decision here soon. <laughs> Scour the land here. Uh, nothing here. Uh, we got these big, big bruises here. <laughs> Path below beneath the earth to follow the drow who raided our village. Ah, oh, drow, drow man, little voice. Drow bad, little voice. Go south. Caves go down to drow. Catch them asleep, little voice. Oh man, I uh, did the voice acting for this guy perfectly. 
Oh, right, so not all the enemies will be uh, nasty. Some of them give us uh, clues. But let's go in here. There's probably fight in here, but. Hey, you gonna, ah, uh, you gonna <laughs> hit first, ask questions later, type of guy. <laughs> Nice. Oh, this could be a little uh, messy here. Ah, oh, hello. Items back here. Ah, ring a feather fall. That's probably for you. So you have to add anything in this game. Ring mail. Uh, probably the same as chain. Oh no, it's the worst. Let's give it to you. So we got some new equipment. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. So we're gonna go here and. Yeah, this game, the uh, interface is growing on me here. It's growing on me. Still clunky, but uh, getting used to it now. to something or other. Let's check our lonely map out. So this is probably where we're gonna go next. So we're probably gonna go and uh, visit these other areas here. So we'll go and do that. But there should be an item next to us here. Oh, potion of giant strength. Oh ho. All right, so let's go up north here. Yeah, go straight up. And see what that brings us. We got some no loving here. <laughs> Uh, 
let's uh, continue going east here. Let's check this back corner, see if there's any enemies after the fight. Ooh, there's a cave back here. I thought the guy said south. Interesting, interesting. So, cave. Cave up north. Hey! You're not supposed to surprise me like that. Good no. A, a dead no or a good no? Cool. Let's uh, head over here. We got. That's our dude, yeah. Yeah, fighters are really whooping it here. Oh, I got no here. Giant, I guess. All right, yep, south here. Past the uh, items that we want to look at here. Of course, it's going to buy these nice little uh, friendly tools. <laughs> yeah, you're dead. Uh, let's cast this, I guess. So, any 
Any magical weapons? This quarter staff is magical. Uh, none of my weapons are magical. Alright. Protection from evil. Oh, this uh, Warhammer is magical, I think. Default weapon. Yeah, let's use the war. Let's do that. And, uh,. Describe the spells the spell book. Ah, there you go. Describe that. This scroll cannot be scribed, okay. Let's go touch. And that's a cleric scroll. Nice, so we figured out how to scribe some spells. That let it get some uh, inventory space now. Yeah, it was a little cave back here, wasn't there? Yeah, let's uh, head east. Where the hell are we? Oh, we're down here. Yeah, I might as well go down here while we're here. Okay. Cool. And we got some. Ah, oh, another sack. There's a nice enemy here as well. Cool. There's no item that was just an enemy. Alright, let's take a look at these items down here. Then we have to go back to that spot to see if that, there's another cave. I think there's a second cave. Sword. Is that magical? No. Two to eight. Yeah, definitely better. Nothing else back in this little cubby hole here. Okay, uh, what else? I'm uh, gonna go back up to northeast there and I think there's a cave there as well. Yep, there is a second cave here. Is there something here? No. 
So we have a uh, cave number two. And then, uh, yeah, let's check out this area to the south here. See what's down there. If there's another cave. If there's another cave down there, then we'll just go north and then this one and then hit the south one. The south one, which, that's the uh, big cave, I, imag I imagine. Since I was told that's where it leads to the underground. Of course, the giants could be lying to me. Wouldn't be the first time. Would not be the first time that some NPC lied to me. Alright, we're in the right direction here. Oh, there's somebody here. Oh, hi, right. cutscene. Stand where you are. I have no desire to match fighting skills with you. The giants about are exercise enough for us, and no need to test our metal further, not against one another. The raid on your village is known to me. I had hoped long ago to cease apologizing for my people, but they amaze me still. The raid may have been meant for me to capture me. All the rest was mere drow meanness. Oh, you're on distance. Are you a raider or a drizzet? Are you drizzet? The name is mine. As a young warrior in training, I came to the surface with a raiding party, but not tonight. Then we sought elves to kill, and we found them. Perhaps I saw my soul reflected in the eyes of a young elven girl. Perhaps. I know only that neither my hand nor my blade could strike at her. While her family died about her, I feigned the death of that innocent child. My blades flashed in a masterful illusion, and though the child lived, I gained the credit for her death. A sad tale! Why confess it now? It is no confession. I knew then that sparing the girl's life was the right thing to do. After that, the years of drow training and discipline meant nothing. They could not hold me to their evil ways. Soon after, I escaped the place of my birth. I tell you this so that you might understand. I wish to join you. We must free the captured villagers. Otherwise, their fate will haunt me, as surely as the memory of that elven child. Alright. What can you tell us of the area? Which way have the evil ones gone? It is not the way the drow have gone which should concern you. The raiders will watch their backs. An army could not follow such a party safely. But to the south lies an opening leading to a mine, a long abandoned dwarven mine. Enter there, and level by level, the way to the Underdark will be open before you. Menzo Berenson, the city of my birth, lies in that direction. Oh boy. Oh boy. So we're going in the Underdark soon. But we're going to check out those other two caves first. With the help of so fine of a wire, would be appreciated. Will you come with us? Your trust in me speaks well of you. I shall take care not to break it. Together we may yet free the villagers, something we could not hope to do working alone. Oh, I got to visit. Oh, man, two handed. Let's check them out. Oh, ho, level 15. Level 15, oh man. Alright, so we have uh, this is here who's kind of OP here. So, uh, yeah. 
Well, if things weren't easy before, they're gonna be now. As, uh, yeah, this is gonna be 20 dexterity, too. Damn. Let's go back up to the north or east or whatever direction we're heading. So let's head up west and check out those other two caves. Wall humping here. Uh, make a save. This is a uh, desert shelter, so this is a safe place to rest. Let's check this place out. I imagine I'm not gonna find any items in here. Pick up a pin of few week cloak. So I have no idea. Probably the same thing as the uh, other thing. So let's check out this bag we picked up. Got some coins in it, potion of healing, and the green robe that we just got. Nice. Cool. Um, yeah, let's go check this area up there. Sack here. Ah, uh, it's a score just put in there. Let's put the scores in there for now. Definitely dark. Cast a light spell. Alright, now we can find our way the hell out of here. This cave is un uninteresting. Uh, so, where is the 
fucking exit. Yellow key that we saw here, so we're going to direction. Now we need to go this key down here. The southeast direction here. Oh, it's almost there. What whooping whooping butt before? We're whooping butt now. We'll be whooping butt now. Uh, I, went, I, I went past it. Uh, go back up. All right, let's uh, make a save here. And I doubt Drizzt is gonna stay with us for the entire game. He's way too strong. Alright, so where are we? The Crucius Lair. I can't see anything. We don't want to come here yet. Huh. Oh, let's reload that. Not sure why, um, well, back guy, and the two guys in the back one attacking. They used to attack before. Hmm. Got figurine and a green robe. Attacking now. We're gonna go in there one more time because if all the guys can attack them, we should be able to take it out. Yeah. But only my front line guys can. I think I know why. Fireball spells uh, took it out. Cause we're in a dungeon, I think. In a dungeon, only the front two characters can actually uh, do anything. Oh. 
the map out here. Well, let's go west uh, with a dog we got. Uh, no, I don't want to leave. Hopefully monsters don't respawn. No. Oh, what? So we all forgot how to swap the uh, party on. There'll be a problem. We have Dizzit in the front. Oh, we got a potion here. We have a jump potion. supposed to be here yet. Twisty cave is almost nothing in it except for that big dog that was guarding the entrance. The shield. Oh, armor class one, they don't need that. map. Oh man. Cool. Uh, let's go. Head south here. Oh, there's an item down, down there. There must be a way for us to reach the opening above. Hmm, perhaps we should try what the potion we found earlier in these caverns. Yeah, I'm not sure we want to do that yet. Uh, so that's that. That's so us so this big before we go up there. I'm not even sure we're supposed to be in here yet. Oh, there was an item back there. Hello there, Tim Coolish. Welcome to the stream. We got a second jump potion. Yeah, good to see you too. 
How are you doing tonight? Oh, right. let's continue heading east. Oh, I'm good. Just get lost in this dungeon here. Because I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be here yet. It's guarded by some big dog that I barely won. And I haven't seen any creatures since. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Definitely a lot of fun. the holes here. What we got back here? Anything good? Alright, oh, let's go on the other side. Oh, another doggy. Let's talk to the doggy. We seek no trouble! If this is your lie, we shall soon leave. Seek you the caravans I have destroyed? Gems and treasures, these are mine. Touch them not. You shall soon leave, yes, but not alive. Ooh, so this is like an optional area, I guess. Uh, we don't have any more fireball spells, though. <laughs> survived and then I'll fight with these creatures. Uh, let's cure a bit here. Don't have much of a way of healing yet. Don't have much of a way of healing yet. But, uh, Alright, so this is, sounds like an optional area to me, based on that description. Ah, uh, there's another enemy here. I wonder if I can rest here. You cannot rest here, too many monsters about. Let's see if we can rest back here. Oh, we got a spell back. House light. So, let us uh, make a save as well. In layer, I guess, would be the best description to get for that. Uh, let's see if we can take out one of these, uh, whatever these creatures are. So he's taking a lot of Alright, he's dead. We got a potion of healing. Yeah, alright. And uh, another potion. 
approach in the feeling. So a couple of items up north. Oh, I got a ring. Ah, oh, ring of protection. Uh, negative two armor class. I oh, will definitely take that. And burning hand, which I don't think I have. So we can probably scrap this. All right. So all we got left is that hole. Right over here. But we're gonna explore up north over there and uh, let's rest here first. Let's cast uh, light. Oh, hello there, Baxin Wise. Welcome. Killing some cat like creatures in this, what I think is an optional cave. So, uh, yeah, that's. I guess there's another way out, so let's go this way. I think we just killed the big cat, or whatever they are. Check this little area out there. Oh, this piece is going and going. Not many enemies in here, but the enemies that we do face in here are pretty tough. And only the two fun characters can attack. I haven't found a way to uh, move my characters around. Oh, we found a gem. We found a gem. Yes, indeed, uh, Bucks and Rice. Yeah, this is part of the one with uh, Dungeon Hack and then Mesoberian. So. Although this is not the first game, this is not the first game made with this uh, engine. The, I think the Ravenloft games were made before this one was. And we will definitely be playing the Ravenloft games at some point. Alright. Uh, so soon this place out. Oh, I went the wrong direction. Uh, I go back north. You usually get lost in these caves. Uh, we might also beat Divinity Original Sin 2 tomorrow, as I am uh, 
Very close to the final boss. Got, I think we have a couple more puzzles left. And then the final boss. So that game might also be coming to a close soon. This uh, way. This way, we haven't been there. Okay, so we find another place where we need to jump. We do have a couple of jump potions. But I have no idea how they work. We got another jump. Alright, and we got third jump. jump stuff because I think that is all that's left. So we'll do that while we're here. Let's take a potion here. Definitely gonna save before I start using the potion here. Definitely gonna save. Uh no not that save. In there, save here. All right, let's give our uh, that potion here. Ah, you can tell they might magic. That's a fun series. I will be starting that also soon, but not too soon. Oh, that's a healing, that's a healing potion. Oops, <laughs> wrong potion. Uh, ah, two jump potions and uh, two holes, so seems to make logical sense. So, how do you jump? Uh, so we're supposed to jump, uh, we didn't jump. Let's try on with the second potion, and... Uh, it just doesn't do anything. Can't jump up. Seen in uh, my magic games. So, what is happening? Did I break the game here? Interesting. 
Oh, let's load the game back. I don't waste two potions here. Oh, I'm trying to figure out how these jump potions actually work. Supposedly, you're supposed to be able to jump. And then you get you can get stuck here. Uh, let's try a uh, jump potion here. Potion of jump. But I'm kind of stuck here now. Maybe it's under one of these special skills. Ah, jump. There we go. That's how we do it. Hey, we got another jump. Uh, Might and Magic. I'll be starting uh, Might and Magic after we uh, beat the... Uh, Here's the Mighty Magic 3, um, not Heroes of Magic 3, Here, Heroes of Mighty Magic uh, Chronicles, which is based on the Heroes of Mighty Magic 3 engine. We'll be doing that after we beat uh, the Divinity Original Sin, which hopefully should be tomorrow, since we are very close to the end of uh, Divinity Original Sin 2. Oh, check the map. So now we have to jump back out of here. Alright, so we're gonna head back here and do the jump thing over there. For a mapping of uh, Might and Magic 1 and 2. Um, south. This is so confusing. Of course, yeah, like every other, uh, every other dungeon crawl doesn't have auto maps. I use uh, Greek guitar for map it manually. Uh, we need to head back west a bit. Alright, so now we want to head south. Uh, let's jump. All uh, right. So it's cool. Well, Mighty Magic One and Two should be fairly easy to map since they're all uh, grid based and uh, certain number of squares per uh, map. All right, what do you got here? A helm of disguise. That is an interesting helmet. Not sure. Of, uh, 
what we disguised as, but it's cool. All right. Oh, that is it for them. Oh, you yeah, gotta search down here. Make sure there's nothing down there. And then we'll be done with this area. Yeah, most people get spoiled. It's just a little bit, do something a little bit different than everybody else. Alright, this is the end. There's nothing back here. So, uh, a couple more spots to look for stuff. And uh, we'll be done with this area. jump when I go across here. Alright, let's jump here. this room. What do you got back here? We got a bunch of nothing. Alright. So, oh, and now we're gonna find our way out of here. South. West, come on. There you go. Oh, no, not that way. We need to go further south here. And yeah. So we need to check this little area there. And we'll be done. There's the exit somewhere on this side. Nothing back here, but a pretty surprise me. There is nothing back here, of course. Well, we gotta check every nook and cranny here.
So I'm not sure what the gems are gonna be used for exactly. But we got them. Alright, we even have an extra jump potion. Which might come in handy later on. Yes, the great outdoors. There's an enemy over here. Let's take him out. We haven't killed anything in a while. Yeah, with this in my party, it's yeah, gonna be pretty easy. Oh, I, didn't, I don't have a weapon. <laughs> But we have uh, Dizzit here. He is quite OP. He's a level 15 ranger. Wow, the rest of my party is like uh, level 5. Level 5 and 5. Level 6. Yeah, he can handle it. I imagine uh, Dizzit's gonna leave us at some point. He's just there to help us along here. To get out of the tutorial areas. Um yeah, let's go here and head south. East here. Oh, Alright, down into this mess. So this is where we found just it, these bottom back here. I'm surprised there's not many, uh, there's not more enemies back here. All right, so we're gonna head to a new area. Sure, like wounds. Uh, I've still got there for now. All right, so that is that. Look at this big area. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Alright, let's head 
bezahlt, ja. Oh, we got bats. Oh, uh, we're having a batting good time here. Got more rocks. Oh, I can't pick that rock up. All right, so. Yeah, I think it's probably a good time to uh, save here. I think we'll wrap the stream up here for uh, today. So uh, yeah, we got uh, got started in this game. We put out a fire and uh, started our adventure. And we took care of some animals in the cave and got some gems, which I have no idea what they're for yet. But I'm sure we will figure it out as right, time goes on. Alright, let's uh, go here, head here and uh, find someone here to uh, raid here tonight. Yeah, no problem at all. Glad I could uh, stream for you guys today. So, yeah, let's go and uh, see who's available here for later this evening. So, let's see what we got going on here. Alright. Uh, let's give, we're gonna give, we're gonna kill, 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 uh, tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern, so feel free to join me for either of those streams. And, uh, take care, and, uh, I will catch you guys, uh, next time.